Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through a practice GED math word problem. Now, it's very important that you know that this is video two of a five video series. So you'll see uh, that there is a clickable link within this video and that you can click on that link and go and see the entire playlist and watch all five of these videos. So if you're catching two, you're here, you might as well watch that one right now, but then go back and see one and then go back and see three, four and five as they're made available in that playlist. But right now, Let's jump right in into this problem. All right, so here we go. Question number two, a swimming pool has a volume of 180x. The width of the pool is 2x. The length of the pool is 20 minus x. The height is given by the expression height equals 180x over minus 2x squared plus 40x. Which of these values of X make the expression undefined? Now, the key thing you need to know here is what makes a number undefined. And this catches so many students on the GED test because they simply don't know what makes a number undefined. If you haven't been to school in a while, you're not gonna remember that. Or you may not even have learned it. But simply what makes a number undefined, and let me get my mouse going here, is a big old fat zero. So if a number amounts to, uh, if a number is divided, let me grab a little darker pen here um, and kind of come back over here. So if a number is divided by zero, it's undefined. So it's a very simple thing, but you have to know it. So any number divided by zero is undefined. So now we know that whatever number would make that bottom expression zero is what would make it undefined. So if we went ahead and took that, um, let me come down here, if we took that minus two x squared uh, plus 40 x, and we took that minus two in there. Well, minus two squared is the number of times itself. So that will be four. So that will be negative eight plus 40 times minus two will be negative 80 plus negative 80. So that would be um, not zero. It would be some negative number. I'm not going to even waste my time doing the math there. So we know that is not two. So we can kind of come over here and put a check mark and we know we're not dealing with that one and then the next one is negative 2 and 0 well we already know it's not negative 2 so we know it can't be negative 2 and 0 because we already eliminated negative 2 and then there's a fraction 1 40th and 1 half and so if we came over here and uh, once again did 2x squared um, <clears throat> plus 40x you know and then we put in uh, 140 and we squared it without even going further in this, we know that's gonna be one over 1600 because 40 squared is 1600 uh, and one squared is one. So that's not gonna make it zero. So if, if 140 is not gonna make it zero, then also one half is not gonna make it zero. So we can check that one off. And then now we can come over here and get a little color for emphasis of correct. And we can come back over here and we know that zero only. Why? Because a number, any number times zero is zero. So if we come back and put that 2x squared, and if we put a zero in for squared, that's going to be zero. And then if we take that 40x and we put a zero in for that x, that's going to make that zero. So zero plus zero is zero. And then that makes any number divided by zero is undefined. And so that gives us our answer. So again, on the GED test, you have to be aware of these kinds of things. And a lot of times what happens is that students focus too much on the skill and they don't get these little fine points that will get you valuable points on the test. So you might know even how to do this math, but if you don't know a number divided by zero is undefined, then you're gonna miss out. So again, if you like this video, 
please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down there below this video and also if you like what I'm teaching and how I teach it subscribe to my channel uh, again this is video two of a five-part video series so when you subscribe you'll get an email every time I upload a new video that way you don't have to wonder is there a new video out what is he talking about this week you can be subscribed and you can get notifications of that um, right to your email or however you have your YouTube account set up to get notifications. Again, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant. Thank you.